Hey everybody, I wanted to make another video updating about what's going on with my mental health journey. So I have decided that I'm going to speak to a therapist. A lot of times in the winter, especially the holiday season, my depression flares up as I'm sure it does for a lot of people. And especially, you know, with 2020, the crazy year that it was, um, I feel like it's been worse this year, so I haven't, I've been trying to use all my coping mechanisms, but I think that I could definitely benefit from talking to a therapist, working through some stuff. Maybe they have some coping mechanisms that I don't, I'm not doing, so I've reached out, I left a message for a therapist, I, you know, understand it's almost Christmas, it's almost New Year's, so I'm going to wait, and then if I don't hear back next week, I'll try and leave another message. Yeah, I've been having more rough days, um, rough patches. Yesterday was hard. I, uh, I had a breakdown, crying, throwing myself on the floor. I definitely think I scared, I, I know I scared Alyssa and her mom, and I, you know, I told them, I'm sorry that I worried you. Because I don't, I don't ever want to scare people. I love people. These are the people I love. These are the people that care about me. So, but it, I felt better after it. And it felt good to hear them say, you are loved. You are important. We love you. That's not going to stop. So, I feel good. feel better today. And I'm really, I think that seeing a therapist will be really good for me. I think that there's a lot that I could work through, that a therapist could help me to work through. When I was a freshman in college, I went to therapy because it was offered through um, counseling through my school. But I wanted to work on the grief I was dealing with because the summer before I went to college, my grandmother died and we were very close. and. You know, I still miss her to this day, obviously. People, you know, that you grieve and you still miss the people, but I wanted to work on that grief. So I didn't really put in the effort and I, I lied about things. I, I thought, well, I'm just focusing on this. I don't need to say all the other things that are causing my depression. All the, at that point, I wasn't even admitting I have depression to myself. So I didn't really put in the effort and after like maybe five sessions I quit. So this time I'm really going to put in the effort. I'm really going to put in the work and do this self work and hope I think it'll be better. I think I'll, I'll have some better coping mechanisms and I'm I'm optimistic about it. So I wanted to say I feel really proud of myself for making that step, making that call. And I've heard a lot of people who go to therapy, they'll say they should have, why did they wait so long? They should have gone earlier. And I have a feeling that that'll be me too. I'll be thinking, why do I need, why did I wait so long? I felt like I have the support, I'm doing the work myself, I have people that care about me, so I don't need therapy, but that's not, that's not the case. You know, you can have all the support, you can do all the work yourself, but you, there are still things that you maybe need to work through with a therapist. That's someone trained to help people, someone trained with this can help you. So, that's what I've decided. To do. I think that it's a really good decision for me. I think that if I really do, I'm really going to stick with this. Um, I haven't heard back from them yet, but there was a big snowstorm. But I'm really going to pursue this. I'm giving it a few more days, and if I don't hear from them after Christmas, I'll call again. A lot of times when I hit a roadblock, I stop. If I'm doing something for someone else, then I keep going. But if it's for myself, I'll, 
If it's for myself, I'll tell myself, well, I tried, that's good enough. But I'm really gonna pursue this and put the work in. And I think that uh, 2021, my mental state will be even better. So I hope everyone finishes out the year happy and healthy. I hope that you are all kind to each other and to yourself. Being kind to myself is definitely something I need to work on. So I'll keep everyone updated when I find a therapist. Let everyone know how it's going. And don't be ashamed to talk about your mental health. Don't be, don't feel bad about seeking help. You know, I, like I said, I thought that I'm doing okay on my own. I'm working on this on myself. I have people that support me. But there's still, you know, there's still those moments. And there's still really bad, really bad times, even if it's only 10 minutes. It's, I don't like feeling like that. And I think that having someone professionally trained who knows how to work through these things to talk to will be a really good help for me. So be kind, take care of yourself and each other. And I hope that 2021 is a better year for everyone. Bye.